Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca. So today we are going to start off by talking about Dossier. I've talked about Dossier before. They reproduce high quality luxury scents at a fraction of the cost because they are able to cut the brand tax. Now all of their perfumes are in the range of $39 to $59 when if you compare it to the brand, the brand is normally around like 200 something up to 280 perfumes really can be expensive and the things that i love about dossier is that they are really good quality they're actually paraben and phthalate free anyways let's open this one up and see what we get okay so this one's fruity neroli and it's inspired by armani's my way and they also describe it as sweet sunshine in a bottle which i think is really really cute um so we'll do our first test spritz anyways the dossier is also really great because they have a risk-free system and since you're buying perfumes online that's really nice because you really don't know what you're going to be getting but believe me when i say you really can trust Dossier's quality and how long lasting they are. If you are unhappy with your scent, you can return any unsealed 50 milliliter bottle and no questions asked. So that's really nice since you're not really taking any risks with it. They also have really great bulk deals on their website where you can get 10, 15, or 20% off depending on how much you order. And they have free shipping within the United States if you order three plus bottles, which I really don't think you'll have a problem finding three that you're interested in because they have so many awesome scents in there that are inspired by popular brands, but they also have their own separate collection. And I myself am getting quite a collection of dossier scents and I really love all of them. I wear a dossier scent almost every day and I always get compliments when I wear them. People really love the way I smell when I wear them. They have really nice, powerful, long-lasting scents. So anyways, I will try out Fruity Neroli for the next few days and then give you guys my review. So Fruity Neroli is yet again another fantastic scent by Dossier. I love the mix of vanilla and citrus and black currant. It truly is me. It starts off very fruity and then it dries down to be a more sophisticated scent. And don't worry, the fruits aren't too sweet. It's honestly a really perfect perfume and it lasted all day for me. I also compared it to my way and they smell so similar so I definitely recommend it but anyways let's go thrifting so today again we are at the goodwill outlet store last time I got so many good things I got first I got a bunch of vintage wool blankets so I have honestly really high expectations anyways let's go inside and see what we can find so tip number one to thrift like an expert at the Goodwill bins is in your prep work. You need to dress comfortably and bring gloves like I'm not wearing right now, but I will be soon. Because number one, you might be spending hours here bending and digging and you really need to be comfortable. And it needs to be something you're okay with getting a little bit dirty. And speaking of dirty, number two with the gloves. I grasped a pair of undergarments with my palms, which made me want to be sick. So I would definitely recommend that you wear gloves for your own protection. You will thank me later. Number two know what you're looking for. This is also in your prep work. You should have a general idea of the types of items you're interested in because they actually do organize the bins based off of type of item. Additionally, you're also just so inundated with so many things that it can really be overwhelming. So if you focus, it's a little bit easier. And remember that it's pay by the pound. So the less weighty things that you buy, like linen or silk, the less you will pay. So keep that in mind if price is really important to you. Moving on to tip number three, which is kind of contrary to our last tip, but it's basically have an open mind. The Goodwill bins are known for an eclectic mix of items. Um, so keep an open mind and be willing to explore different sections and different bins. You don't really know what you're gonna find, which is kind of the fun of it. And also you really have to look at items with a creative eye and see if you can upcycle it or fix it or use the item for a different purpose than it was meant for. Number four, which honestly might be the most important tip that we have is to respect the rules. Here, you can't touch a bin until they fill all the bins in that row and they're very strict about it and you have to leave the carts here on the side just respect the rules don't get kicked out and you'll have a great time number five come prepared with the tools that you might need you can tell that it's really dark in here it's not the most flattering light on me so if you struggle with your eyesight you might need to bring in a flashlight to inspect your items or just to see the items in the bin another option is to bring a measuring tape if you don't really know what your size looks like or you don't don't know what your measurements are. The sixth tip is to bring bags or containers with you because I got so much. I don't even know. I think I got like 26 pounds of stuff and thank goodness my store actually provides them for free, but 
you might not get so lucky and you would just be unable to carry any of these out to your car or transit. And my final and seventh tip is to inspect everything carefully, even more carefully than when you're at a regular thrift store because you have to remember that these are the rejects coming from the Goodwill. Keep an eye out for stains, rips, or anything missing like an accessory um, because the last thing you want is to have to repair something that you don't really care about. I would recommend that you stop shopping 30 minutes before so you have time for this. Okay, so we are back now. I really need to put into practice just because it's cheap. It doesn't mean that you should get it at the Goodwill bins. I really struggle with that, but I feel like we still got a lot of really cute pieces, so let's get into it. We're actually starting with one of my favorite pieces. It is this Wilfred jacket. It's like a nice virgin wool and cashmere blend and this beautiful cream color. It has this really cool like continuous hood on it with these buttons and this belt, and it's kind of like a mid-thigh length. The fabric is made in Italy it feels very soft now the only thing is I went to go hand wash it and unfortunately I kind of screwed up the color I thought I was getting out dirt but I was actually just getting out like a ton of dye so I'm not sure what to do now let me know if you have any experience in like dyeing wools because to dye fabrics you need to get the water like really hot but you can't get wool really hot anyways I can't believe somebody didn't get this and I can't believe it was about to go to the landfill Next up, I got this little white shrug. Now this was a surprise to me because I actually love it so much. At first, it was kind of nothing to me, but then as I got to look at it, I just love the flouncy lettuce hem on like all the edges, and I didn't realize it in the store at the beginning, but it has this cute little tie up in the front, which I feel like is so versatile. In this outfit, I've tied it in the front or top of this white silk shirt and then this green satin skirt. The brand is Bellissima Fashions, which I don't think is any like particularly special brand. I don't even know what this is made of, honestly. It's probably synthetic polyester, which I don't love. I thought the style and the silhouette was so cute and I feel like it will go with so many different things. It would look really cute over top of any dresses and it would kind of like warm them up in like the spring and the summer. It'll go over top of jeans, with blouses, with skirts. I do wear it backwards in an outfit later that I really love. We'll get to that later, but anyways, this is unexpectedly definitely one of my favorite pieces. Okay, next up, I got this wool cardigan. Can you believe that this also was not got at the thrift store before? Brand is Clover. It's 100% virgin wool. I don't know what country it was made in. I'm assuming it's vintage because look at this tag. This tag looks just older. It's all blue all over with like a little red and white trim. It's got little pockets in the front. One is a zip up and one is like a non zip up. I didn't style it in the best way. I'm so sorry. I was limited to the amount of clothes that I had since I wasn't at home. But what I really think would look cute with this is a skirt. It's like a really, really nice wool. It doesn't feel that itchy and it's actually like nice and thick. But anyways, I'm also glad that we got this one, but we just need to style it differently. Moving on, towards the very end, I got this tiny little shirt, and I say tiny little because when I put it on for the first time, I thought, I think this might be a kid's shirt because it barely fits me around the neck, and then the sleeves are like just too short. They're like a centimeter or too short for my wrists, so I feel like it maybe looks a little bit ridiculous if you look too hard, but it like almost fits me. The reason I got it was because I thought the fabric looked really nice and thick and number two, look how cute this vintage tag is. It says UTE in blue and then it has this cute little like pattern around it and then I like the pockets in the front and I like the Peter Pan collar. Like I think the rounded collar is actually really adorable and how gathered the sleeves are at the wrist. I just like all the little details in it and it felt like the quality of the make was really good too. Like it has really nice seams on the inside. So many styling opportunities with this if I could actually get it to fit around my neck a little bit better but I feel like it's the perfect collar for layering underneath a sweater because I love how round it is. I'm considering selling this on Facebook marketplace but I don't really know who would buy it like how do you say like a kid's teenager button up like I don't know who would want to buy this. Next up, I got this green Zara dress. Now, if this was in like the regular Goodwill store, I probably wouldn't have got this just because I tend to just hold out for things that are like vintage or like a really special brand rather than just getting something at Zara. This thing probably weighs like less than a pound. This is what, like maybe, maybe $2. Yeah, I'm gonna get it because it's a linen cotton blend. Oh no, it's a linen viscose blend, which kind of sucks. 
but whatever. I liked the green color. I thought it was a little bit different for me, so I wanted to branch out. Um, I thought the style was interesting. Like, I really like the back and how it's open. The thing I don't like, though, is the cutouts on the side. I don't know why, but I think the cutouts on the side make me look more like a rectangle, so I don't know if it's the most flattering cut for me. One thing I'm thinking about is just cutting off the top and making it a skirt, or I'll try to sell it on Facebook Marketplace. I'm not sure yet. Okay, let's talk about the skirts because I got some good skirts. Number one, I got this 100% silk Banana Republic skirt. Can you believe that this was about to be sent to the landfill? How sad. It has this really interesting pattern on the outside, like it's like a patent and then like a matte kind of silk. It's actually like a ballerina kind of wrap skirt and I actually kind of struggled to style this one just because it's such a poofy skirt that I'm not really sure what to do up top. So I brought back that like Bellissima cardigan, tied it up backwards and I actually think that's kind of cute, although the back is a whole nother story. The back of this outfit is a, just a different situation, but with a skirt like this, I do really like the idea of having some something that's like a bit bigger in the shoulders and then comes in at the waist. But yeah, I couldn't pass this up. I thought it was just such an interesting cut and I just really like that it's silk, so I had to get it. Okay, next up, on the other end of the spectrum, we got this green wool skirt. Um, completely different than the last one. It's this pretty forest green and like the wool is really nice and good quality. Like it's definitely a good quality vintage wool. The brand is Braemar um, by Jeremy Scott. The thing is that this skirt is actually a little bit big on me, so I'm not totally sure I'm going to keep it. I might sell this one on Blue Genoa, but I actually really do like the outfit that I'm wearing with it. I think it looks really cute with like being tight up top and then a little bit billowy on the bottom. And this length of skirt is interesting. I just think it looks more conservative, but then wearing the belt over top of it like that makes it look like more modern. I also tried it with this jacket and I don't really like it. It's not my favorite. But anyways, I really couldn't pass it up. I loved the green color, so I'm glad that we got it. And saving my favorite skirt for last, don't worry, we have a lot more other things in this haul. I got this beautiful black beaded skirt, which honestly, unexpectedly, it is my favorite skirt of the haul. The brand is Crochetta. I honestly have no idea. It's just especially made for Crochetta, but I just thought the beading was so nice and intricate and beautiful. I'm wearing this bodycon dress underneath the skirt, and then I'm wearing this black belt with like the silver hardware around the skirt just to kind of like break up all the black with more black. I think it looks really stylish and I love the silhouette. I love this skirt. It slightly smells like diesel. Like, I don't know what to say about that. Okay, next up, I got this 70s shirt and this is straight up an authentic 70s shirt. The collar is super starchy. I don't know what to do about that. It's so stiff. If you have any tips for like getting insane starch out of collars, let me know. I'm wearing it with these brown high-waisted pants of mine that make it look even more 70s. We're just doubling down on that theme. I couldn't pass it up. I mean, this is like less than a pound. So this is like a dollar or something. And I really want to do a 70s time traveler video like I did for 60s last year. And so I had to get the shirt. It was a must. Sorry, but I had to. Okay, moving on. I got this wall sweater. You guys, look how cute it is. I love the pattern on it. It has like people on it, like it's rows of people. I don't know, it's so interesting. It kind of smells like diesel, which makes me a little sick. Like I think a man left this in his work truck as like his warm sweater and it forever will smell like his Ford diesel truck or something. But I really like all the colors in it. I love the pattern. It's 100% wool. Did I mention that? And it was made in Ecuador. It's super thick. I'm wearing it with these white pants. I feel like that's a really cute like casual look for it. Anyways, really happy that I got it. Such a unique find. Can't believe it was about to be thrown out. Next up, I got this cropped shacket. The brand is Saltwater Lux. Um, it does have a little bit of wool in it, which is actually nice. Oh, it's actually 70%. It could use a really good sweater shaving, um, but I thought it was just really nice. I really liked the green and the blue and the white in it. And the outfit I'm wearing is just a white turtleneck underneath and dark wash jeans. I wish I had gone less simple for this one, but I was away from home, so I couldn't do the most with it. But I feel like I should have tried it with like a long skirt. Anyways, I'm gonna try more styling options with this jacket, but it also is just like a very practical jacket. Jacket. Next up, we are moving on to, I think, one of the first things I found in the thrift store. I got this linen top. 
You guys, you know I love linen, and also linen is so light, so it's like the best thing to find at the Goodwill bins. The brand is Zara, which I know I said earlier that I wouldn't buy Zara if I found it in like the actual store, but since this is 100% linen, I would be much more inclined to buy it. Now, I'm sorry, it does need a really good steam. I didn't have a steamer there, but just know it actually is really, really pretty. The way I'm wearing it is with these white pants and then this red linen top underneath. This is definitely more of like a summery outfit. I feel like other cute ways to style a linen and button up would be to like tie it in the front, wear it backwards and like tie it in the back. I think that would be really cute and like tuck in the collar if you know what I mean. I love linen. I will always get it when I see it at the thrift store. I have an insane linen collection at this point and I mean yeah like I said this was probably a dollar so happy that I found it. Next up, I got this white dress. Now this is one of the things at the bins that I was really excited about when I found it but then when I tried it on I was kind of like hmm it's actually a little bit weird. I don't really know what to do with it because it's obviously like a beach cover-up. Like it's very see-through. Anyways, it kind of has like a rough seam at the bottom. It has a drop waist hem. So at first I was going to wear something around my waist like a belt, but it didn't really work with like the drop waist hem. I'm wearing it over top of pants, which I know will give some of you horrible flashbacks, but I had to. What else was I supposed to do? I feel like it really needs to be worn as a beach cover up, but this did come new with tags, which I thought was really nice. And it's definitely this really nice, like light cotton that will be lovely in summer. Oh, and I forgot, it's actually made in Italy, which is very cool. Next up, I got these Aritzia pants, which obviously if I see anything that's like Aritzia in the Goodwill bins, I'm going to snatch it up. I was thinking when I bought it that maybe it was wool, but it is not. It is mostly polyester. It has a drawstring waist, which isn't my favorite, so I tucked it in in favor of putting on a belt over top because I just, I like belts better. And then I wore this black and white buttoned up short sleeve top. It's not the most exciting. It's not the most colorful outfit, but I do think it's kind of cute. I think I might sell these on either Facebook Marketplace or on on Blue Genoa, we shall see. Okay, next up, I also got these jean short alls. It's just such a funny purchase to me. Um, I feel like they do look a little funny on me too. Like they're really tight around the bottom part, like around my thigh, but then it's really, really big around like my waist and my back. They fit a little weird. I don't know, let me know what you think. But anyways, <laughs> These don't fit the way that I was hoping. I also feel like they would look a little bit better if they were longer. I got it because I'm always on the lookout for like overalls. The brand is Gap. I really, really like the color of the jean. I feel like the wash is really, really nice. And maybe once it's summer and I'm tanned and it's weather appropriate, I will like them more. So stay tuned for the summer when I can finally wear these. Okay, next up, I got this little peachy cream scarf. I'm honestly not sure on the color. I feel like it's more of a peach. It's like this gauzy fabric, which is interesting. Anyways, I really like how like loose the weave is. I feel like it looks really pretty and whimsical. And so it makes it like really flouncy and like move in interesting ways. It's honestly quite a wide and large scarf. So it's really more of like a shawl. So I feel like it's just really nice to layer over top of dresses, like this dress that I'm wearing right now. Or I feel like it would be really cute with like a skirt blouse combo or like trousers since it was literally probably 50 cents i thought I might as well take the chance and get a little light colored shawl next up i got this cardigan now the reason i got this cardigan is because i loved the cream i loved the pattern on it i love the big brown buttons and i love the belt i bought this thinking it would be way too big on me but it's actually not that bad and i could see myself wearing it more often but i still think that i might sell it on blue genoa or facebook marketplace i'm just wearing it with some white pants and a little turtleneck i just honestly think it's really practical yet being like kind of nice and unique Believe it or not, we are still going. I've been filming for so long. I also got this brown leather vest. How did I find so many good things? I don't know. The brand is Blue Pepe. I don't know what that is. It's got this cool little tie on the back. And I feel like it's really interesting for like layer opportunities. I think I might sell this one, but I really like the color and how nice the leather is. And I couldn't believe that it has no damage. Like it is essentially perfect and it was like going to be thrown out. I feel like it looks good over top of so many different things like sweaters, blouses, dresses even. It's just really versatile. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think on whether I'm gonna sell it or keep it. The other kind of leathery suede piece that we got is this purple suede skirt. I 
really really like it i like the purple color um obviously like that it's suede and i love that it comes with this thick matching belt with like the gold hardware the brand is a separate scene which i've never heard of anyways i bought this knowing that it was a little bit too big for me but also knowing that i had to save it from the landfill i'm just doing a public service by doing this amount of shopping you know so i will be selling this one but i just appreciate when things come with a matching belt because then you kind of get like a twofer because then you can wear like the belt with other outfits and i love doing that Okay, moving on, we found a few bags. Number one, I found this Banana Republic leather bag, which is actually really, really nice. Like this is a really great like work bag. You can fit so much in it. Um, it's huge inside absolutely massive like I think I can fit my whole computer in this it's very practical for work the only thing is um, some of like the edges is kind of coming apart if you guys have any tips on like how to repair the edges on like your leather strapped purses let me know I also got this brown leather bag and I love this one the brand is the trend and I think the brown color is so so nice with like really nice gold hardware it has a zipper down on the bottom zipper down on the side and then the strap is really really long it's honestly obnoxiously long I don't love that part I don't really know much about the brand but it seems like it's actually like pretty good quality it's got a cute little lining that's like green inside that oh I'm missing this now. It was made in Italy, which is really, really nice. I'm gonna have to look at this brand. It looks like it is slightly damaged on like the attachment here, which is fine. But I just really love the color. We had to get it, moving on. I also got this Calvin Klein bag. Now this one is the only bag that I'm kind of iffy about having gotten. And I think it's because I don't know how much I love the nylon on the very bottom, but I do think it's real leather up top. So anyways, I might sell this one or give it away, but I do really appreciate that it has two different lengths of straps. That is very nice. This next little bit is going to be a rapid fire. I also got this little brown leather pouch to put in my purse and to put like a tiny little notebook in with pens. And I feel like it's gonna help me be really organized. And I got this little basket. It's kind of damaged on the one side, but I feel like I'll just maybe like cut off this little bit and then just use it to store things in, in my home. I also got this white peplum Wilfred shirt, which is a large, so I didn't try it on, but I will sell this one on Facebook Marketplace. I got this other Babaton medium shirt that I'm also gonna sell on Facebook Marketplace or Blue Genoa. I got this gorgeous tapestry. Look how beautiful it is. This thing must have taken so much work. The flowers are so pretty and like 3D, and I actually have a plan to hang it right where that white paper is gonna go so I think it's gonna be really cute and then I got that long beautiful beaver fur coat which I gave to my sister and then that wool and cashmere blend coat that was made in Canada and the brand was Nicolini and I also gave it to my sister so yeah that was everything that I got let me know what your favorite piece was down in the comments below if I had to choose my favorite piece honestly I really love the outfit that we made with the black beaded skirt but I think overall my favorite piece was that brown Aritzia coat from the very beginning but don't forget to Check out Dossier using the link in my description box below, and don't forget to check out my store, Blue Genoa, using the link in my description box below. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!